All right, I've worked five, uh, four and a half Minecraft days on this, but... Nah. I'm just kidding. What is up guys? Welcome to another Minecraft video. Now the last time I did one of these was about four years ago. So today we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane. So my longtime viewers will recognize this area. This is Boss Domain's basement. And oh man, it is a lot uglier than I remember it being. What was I thinking? Look at this. We've got, what do we have? Jungle logs and dark prismarine for the walls. We have these ugly looking fire alarms, which I don't think will work anymore under 1.16. Nah, there's nothing. The pool. Now the pool, the story behind this pool was back when this world was on a server. I got bored one day and just played around with world edit and uh, made this gigantic pool. It just kind of never ends until it does. Look at this thing. There's the end of it. It's ridiculous. I don't I don't know why. I like I said I just got bored one day with World Edit and uh, decided to make this back when this world was on a server, which was also about 4 years ago since I had that up and running. Got the older style design fire alarms which actually look a lot nicer than that weird torch design I was using. These were in place with the original fire alarm system. Now if you don't remember that let me show you what that was. So guys, here's the original fire alarm panel that was in this place. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is massive, and I remember Andrew actually put in a kill field uh, for people that weren't on the scoreboard would actually die if they went past this area, which of course also does not work under Minecraft 1.16.2. This was the DSN Services model MS9857 DSA. If I remember correctly, that was because it had detectors, sprinklers, and a annunciator. Now this thing would actually crash the server back when I was hosting it on that old Dell Inspiron 531S, and I mean, you can kind of see why. Look at this thing. This thing is ridiculous. Look at this. It, it was a very mechanical panel. Uh, the only command blocks used were for setting and removing redstone blocks for uh, sounders and strobes around the property here. And this is how the zones would go into alarm. It's it's a mess. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know Tyler Stefan 200, uh, go subscribe to him on YouTube if you haven't already. Him and I built this in like, I think it was a week or two it took us to actually get it finished. And it's ridiculous. It's so big, it's it's just insane. Now the reason it was so big was because we had so many features on this. Look at this, we had colored signs, system normal, fire alarm, silenced, even had supervisory, and a zone active light because this one used older design pull stations that would not allow you to reset the panel unless you reset the pull station. Even had a uh, keypad, which we never got working properly. It looks like it had a dialer. I actually don't remember what that did. Uh, we've got, what do we have over here? It looks like just a smaller control area. Oh, it's the disable points. So you can disable the max master box tie, the dialer, sprinklers, uh, the strobe knack, and you can also walk test. And here was all of the uh, zone indicators. This was ridiculous. I think all 33 of them were used. Yeah, they were. And zone 33 was a supervisory zone. I don't think I ever did anything with that, but I also can't really remember. Over on the back, we had a, um, a, a smaller indicator. I think it just didn't have enough room to make the panel longer. So what do we have here? Device type, activated pole station, heat detector, fire drill, and then a sprinkler indicator. And then we have a um, disabled indicator over here, which, is there one over here as well? There's not. Why would I not just put it above the disable buttons? We had three coding options as well. We had uh, code 3, 120 beats per minute march time, and uh, the slower 75 beats per minute march time. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on that, see if it does anything, which it looks like, oh, 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 it does work. All right, let's hit the drill button and see what we get. It looks like it still works, that's kind of insane. Uh, this is running on single player, that's why uh, nothing's really going wrong. Uh, 
Um, the strobe knack is disabled because strobes got moved when we upgraded to the new system and this was just placing redstone blocks in random areas. Got the sprinkler controller module right here. I'm gonna go ahead and silence this and see if the sprinklers actually work. T check how long this thing takes to silence. It's insane. I believe this was all wired as well. Oh yeah. There's no set block commands here. Now if I remember right, there was, yep, there was sprinklers here, and it looks like there was a pull station here as well. Right behind the sprinkler, yeah, what a genius idea that was. It looks like there's no water anymore though. But yeah, those were the sprinklers for the wood rooms. I don't think there was any in here. Nope. Yeah, in here, uh, this was a sprinkler. And uh, this was a heat detector, this other hole. There would be red wool with a redstone torch on top of it, linked back to the panel. And when the redstone torch would go away, it would put the panel into alarm and set off the sprinklers. So I'm going to go back down here, uh, put myself back into creative mode, and uh, hit reset. Now the rapid pulsing you heard during the alarm and the reset is something that's outside. Uh, it was outdoor mass notification thing that I tried to do and it didn't work out too well because of course of the uh, old server not being able to handle it. Might as well touch on this really quick. This is the uh, addressable fire alarm system that Tyler actually built for me and then I rebranded because he allowed me to. So this is what the uh, DSN services model ADD ADDR8033 no longer works under the new Minecraft. So here's the stairs that uh, lead down to the room that we were just in. Let's keep let's keep going. Let's relive the entire boss domain experience. This was a, a big empty room with another one of these ugly fire alarm strobes too low on the wall. Ugh. Oh, the wood rooms are right here, and uh, this is this was the sprinkler. I couldn't get it to set logs in the correct position, so that's why it's just stone. We had the the uh, oak room, and I actually did this in survival way back in the day. Uh, the acacia room, however, was done in creative. So continuing upstairs, um, we've got back here, we have a couple of uh, hideout rooms. I never really did anything with these. And then back over this way, what do we have? We have another big empty room with actually two of the ugly strobes, which are even uglier because they don't have red behind the sign. Um, and oh, here we have the uh, ice skating and the other pool. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I did this way back in 2014. Right here we have a pool with a glowstone floor, kind of neat. And then through here we have the ice skating rink. And up here we have the main area. Uh, this was the entry room right here, which the doors used to have lockettes, so I would just be able to right click the iron door, but obviously in vanilla it doesn't work like that. Another ugly fire alarm and the emergency exit. And there is things in my under chest. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put a button there and go outside where you can see another ugly part of boss domain. I have no idea what I was thinking when I put this in. This is the uh, DSN lights with leaves. Just really doesn't look good with this lime green wool. And of course we have another one of these ugly strobes. A boss shop, we can go over that in a different video. There's just too much to cover there. But um, above we have Sky Domain. Now what Sky Domain was was basically just a big floating mansion. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Nothing really ever happened with it except we did uh, put in some pretty cool lights. I did that with Andrew from New Age Server Alarm, he came on the server back when it still existed and put in these lights which are now permanently stuck on because the set block command for these stuck buttons has changed. Um, and uh, for whatever reason I get a really terrible frame rate up here. Uh, it seems to be cleared up now, but whatever. Uh, there was also supposed to be fire alarm strobes in all of these holes, but that's just something I never got around to. Wow, we're really suffering with frame rate here. But that's pretty much Sky Domain. I mean, we've got a king bed up here, a bunch of random signs that do things. Oh, I wonder if that's what's killing my frame rate. Yeah, it totally is. That's weird. I shouldn't be doing that, but whatever. And then over here we have the green room with a barrier floor. 
what you could be able to do up here was just look out over the entire domain. You can even see the Alertech building that Andrew built, I believe, five years ago. So guys, there is a look back on Boss Domain. However, that's not it for the video. I've been working on something. Check this out. So that's right guys, Boss Domain 2.0 has been revamped, finally, after four years. Check it out, we've got controllable lights per room. That's right, if you guys remember from way back when, uh, in, in the original configuration of this place, um, there was one lever right there that would control every single redstone lamp in this whole building. But now, now we made it nice, and it's just got buttons in every room. Off on. Still got the lab right there. We got a pull station and yes, the fire alarm system does work. I'm going to get to that in just a little bit. This is remnants from the original fire alarm system here. This room by itself hasn't really changed too much. Uh, down here we still have the same magic door. Uh, back here we still have the bathroom with original pull stations from the original system because I never got around to replacing them in here. Same thing in here. Another old one. I guess there is a new one, but this is for the addressable system, which is no longer here. And then here we have the same room with all my mini blocks, some storage, and the bunker. The bunker is pretty cool. Might as well show you that as well while we're here. Let's check this out. No more glowstone ceiling, just controllable lamps, and it looks very, very nice. And while we're here, since this light appears to be stuck on, we're going to go ahead and pull a fire alarm. That's right, it works. All the strobes are synchronized, although it appears that to be delayed. Oh, maybe this one is a little out of sync, whatever. That's out of context anyway, let's head back to the main area here. You'll notice we have tritone sounders everywhere now, instead of just a... Um, just whatever it was, I think it was a play sound command. Strobe there, strobe there, synchronized, very nice. Out here we have another pair. Of course, synchronized, gotta make it look nice. And the panel is right up here. Two more strobes in this room, and another sounder under the floor. And the fire alarm panel is right through here. Check this out. Zone, bunker, let's hit silence. System silence, now check this out. I believe this was a feature originally on that panel, um, but now, selective silence, or audible silence rather, still synchronized of course. Uh, the rest of the place is still under construction. Uh, I did fix these lights, they are not controllable yet and they probably won't be. Um, all the ceilings that had checkerboard lights have this nicer pattern now, uh, varying depending on the size of the room. Then heading outside, I do have this design. I'm going to be using these for outdoor strobes. We also have one on Boss, uh, boss Shop or right over here. And I believe if you look inside, yep, you can see the strobes going. The fire alarm system is something we need to get in depth with a completely different video. I will be doing that later on, but for right now we're just going to show you this. Uh, right here we have two strobes, synchronized of course, and these are also on and off at the same time as the lamps. Heading up to Sky Domain, you can actually see one of the strobes through the uh, barrier floor. We're gonna get a bad frame rate because of all of the um, lighting, whatever's, from all of the strobes up here, which, yes, all of them were synchronized as well. Check that out. That's right, I finally put strobes in all the places where there needed to be strobes, and put more pull stations around. And check this out. Realarm. The system has realarm.
So going back inside here, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the system because that's all I'm going to show for the fire alarm system in this video. There will be a whole video dedicated to it at some point. Actually, there is one more thing. Selectable coating and when you reset the system, lamp test. That's right. All right, that's enough fire alarm for this video. Uh, moving along, here's some more of those lights that I didn't really go too in depth with. Um, again, all of them are controllable, off, on. Even the staircase is controllable by this switch right here. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? I will say it's quite nice being able to control the lights per room and not just, you know, one switch in my bedroom. But there you go, guys. That's what I've been working on for about the last week. Uh, there will be a full tour of this place once it's done. But until then, guys, that is going to be it for this long overdue Minecraft video. A uh, little note about the server, it does exist, I got it back up, but it will never go public, it's just going to be a private server for me and a couple of friends. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for the video, thank you for watching.